Uh -huh. We're in the home stretch, uh, final week of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And we're going to be checking in with David Sears once again. And David, you're talking to some young people out there, right? Oh, very young people. You know, one of the focuses of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is the youth of San Antonio and the youth all over South Texas and, matter of fact, all over the state of Texas. We are inside the warm-up arena just outside the Freeman Coliseum. And if you'll notice, you'll see a bunch of youngsters warming up. They're getting ready for the youth rodeo. They've got events like barrel racing, pole bending, co-ed breakaway roping. They've got goat touching. This is Emiliano. Come on up here, Emiliano. How you doing today? Good. Are you warm, all warmed up? Yes. Now you've been warming up your horse, Pinto. What events are you gonna uh, are you gonna participate in today? Bills, pros, and go slapping. Go 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 touching in, in San Antonio, right? So what what are some of the events like? What what talk about the talk about the poles? What are the poles like? You go straight and go in and out, and then you, and then you go in and out again, and then you run back home. And you run back home. Where's home? I know home is Eagle Pass. You don't go back to Eagle Pass yet. You don't ride your horse all the way to Eagle Pass, do you? Home is right oh, home is, oh, home is over there. So what is the, what is the goat touching? Talk about goat touching for me. What does that mean? You you go straight and and then the, then you get off and then the guys hold your horse and then you touch them and then you then then how to, that's how you do it. Now this is Pinto. And how long have you had Pinto? Like for a long week. Long time? How old are you? Six. How long have you been riding? I don't know. You don't know? A long time, haven't you? Right, so long, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you stand up in your stirrups a little bit and show off your belt buckle? How many of those do you have? Twelve. You have twelve belt buckles and you're only six years old? What are, what are some of the events that you want? Barrels, poles, and goat slapping. And, go, and the goat? The goat <laughs> Some places to call it goat slapping. Here we like to call it goat touching. So you're just going to touch the goat today, right? Yeah. So that's a big belt. That buckle's almost as big as you are. Could you eat, like, if you took that off and poured some beans in there, could you eat some beans? No. You can't. You, you never eaten out of one of those before? No. Thing as big as a plate, man. You could really grow up strong. Pinto. You love Pinto? Pinto's a good horse, huh? So you yeah. want all those on Pinto? Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to let you ride off and warm up. And get ready for your three events today. And I wish you the best of luck, all right? Thanks for stopping and talking to us. You're a great young fella. Good luck. Thank you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Calf rider. A calf rider? A calf roper? Calf roper, that's what you want to do? We're well, off to a good start. Thanks, Emiliano. Good luck today. There you go. <laughs> Less than six years old. He doesn't even know how long he's been riding a horse because he's been riding a horse pretty much all his life. He rides a horse. He doesn't even ride a bicycle. He just rides a horse. Guys, back to you. We're coming back in the next half hour with some more kids. Oh. That is awesome.